ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, and I'll stop singing, my lord, Kumbaya. When you click the link in the description, Kumbaya. I'll stop singing, my lord, Kumbaya. Oh, lord, Kumbaya. Okay, okay, I'll stop batting with my bears here. Mm -hmm. Celebrity voice in person. From the pages of the World Wrestling Federation magazine, here's updates. Mm-mm. My number 10, you'll never guess this. This should be honorable mention because it really doesn't exist. We'll do honorable mentions when we get to number one. Yeah, we'll do honorable mentions later, but this should have been on there. Um, but my number 10 is the King of the Ring title. Uh, that's an interesting one. I saw it. I like the design of I it. I love the design of it. But... Uh, up against other belts, I, I couldn't I couldn't put it on the list. And I had I to. I didn't really it's, put it on honorable mention. It's so unique. It's a castle, mm -hmm. like it's and it's got like some I think some uh, some flags on it on well, the side. Well, it was made for Mabel. Yes, it made for Mabel, and he had it on a house show or something. I think we saw a picture of. Right. Um, and it was extra big because it was made for Mabel. I really wish it would have kept it. I wish it would have continued and and then gotten maybe redesigned and stuff like that. I wish it would have been a King of the Ring title. But granted, it would only be defended once a year. So, um, but that that's my number ten. That's that's my that's my. But then the question comes: Why did they go through the whole rigmarole of designing and making the freaking belt if they? I don't know. Like, Prototypes happen. They have the money. Um, yeah. But I mean, I guess it was the. But in '95. The assumption yeah. of this could be a championship, but then they probably realized after they made it, oh wait, we can only defend it once, once a year, once a year right? and that's a waste. Yeah. So I mean, so be it. But I do love that. I d I forgot about it till I was googling. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, that's going on there. That's definitely going on the list. But it ended up at the bottom of my of my top ten of all the championships that are out there. My number ten belt currently belongs to Shinsuke Nakamura. Really? The NXT Heavyweight oh. Championship belt. It's so simple, oh, but you God. know what? I like it. I especially especially on Shinsuke and Joe. I've really grown to like the NXT belt. Let me show you why I don't like it. Because it's too simple? No. There's a main reason I don't like that championship belt. That and when it came one. out, it pissed me off. And the main reason is, you'll show it up on the screen, mm -hmm. is the X Division title. Uh, yeah. Because the X Division title came first. Even the old X Division title. Any incarnation of the X Division title. I'm like, Anything with an X, yeah, basically, like, is the big X. The X that... is the prominent thing of that title, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I the only thing I like about it is how shiny it is, yes, but it is I, I don't like that the X is the big part of it. I'm like, no, what I really hate about it is the rest of the strap, because it's like this thick. And that the rest bugs of the strap the is out. ridiculously thick. It just bugs me. But I like the way um, I like the way the last few champions have worn it. The way it's looked on the last few champions. Right. I think early on it looked awkward, and the guys who had it looked awkward with it. Uh, yeah. But I think, especially a guy, especially between Shinsuke and Joe, mm -hmm. they know how to wear it. They know how to use it. They know how to use it as a strap. They know how to drag. They know how to, they know what to do with it. They know how to make it look good. All right. I. I disagree. I don't think that should be on the list. At I all. totally understand. <laughs> I totally understand. I'm sure I'm gonna disagree with one of yours too. Might might start right now. My number nine. Uh, lineage dates back uh, now almost twenty years. 
Um, had such esteemed champions as uh, Owen Hart. I, uh, I think I know what the belt this is. I haven't seen your list, and I has I think I know such what you're esteemed about. champions as Kurt Angle. Yeah, I thought this would be higher on your list. As um, D'Lo Brown. Can I guess? As sure. European. As Shane McMahon, as Naked Midian, as Al Snow, the European Championship belt. Yes. I legit thought this would be your number three. Really? I thought you loved this belt so much. I have quite a fondness for the belt. You do, because you mentioned it a lot. I have quite a fondness for the belt itself. But you know what? In doing in looking and going over the list, wow. it, it there there were other ones that I was like, you know what? Looking at this right now in this moment, I do like the way this belt looks more than the way the European belt looks. Interesting. I still really like the way the European belt looks. The hint of red on the bottom, Do you uh, like the side plates work. I like all the straps that they've ever put on. Oh, there was a ask. green one, a black one. I um, despise the European title. The, the title design, or the belt? Okay. The design of the title. Why? So the belt. It's a little small. Mm -hmm. I don't like how small it is. And that's that's an issue with me in a lot of the belts that I've chosen. I think it's supposed um, to be, though, because of the ranking of it. I, that makes sense. I just don't like how small it is. And also, the weird shape. Not a rectangle like the Intercontinental Championship, mm -hmm. but like it had like this weird curvature at the top. Uh -huh. And I'm seeing it in my head. I should have it up on Google, but there was like a red dot somewhere. Maybe the, the, red dot was was, red. the red dot was right at the top. That was where the WWF scratch it logo was. Me. And the curvature, so where the... Classic IC belt kind of looked like Jenga blocks stacked up. The classic It one, just yeah. curved yeah. up to the European one. I liked that design. I never though. liked it. I never liked it. Um, it was, I liked it as a title, mm -hmm. and I liked the angle with it, and um, but I never I never liked the design. I, I never liked the belt. I always had a, had a fondness for that design. I think it has something to do with, uh, particularly when Shane and X-Pac were fighting over it. They had some really good matches, and X-Pac was a great European champion. So was D'Lo. Um, All Europeans themselves. Yeah. That's a yeah. different discussion. Um, <laughs> my number nine, I think, is on your list. But D'Lo was big in Germany. You kidding me? <laughs> him, and, him and David Hasselhoff. <laughs> right. Um, former European champion. Mm -hmm. No one knows. Uh, it's a house show. Um, my number nine has a caveat to it. It's an asterisk. Um, it's probably on your list, but not this one. Okay. So, and this is specific. All right. So... I know, I know you're going to be mad that it's low on this list, Okay. but uh, it's the Winged Eagle belt. So WWF Championship Winged Eagle version, however, mm. and this is this is a both of these, the white and blue one. So the white strap and the blue strap, that the warrior hat. Okay. Um, Sl Slaughter had the blue strap for a second. That one in particular Okay. is, and I'll, I'll spoil it for you, I don't have the black one on there higher up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. It's strictly the white and the blue one. Wow. Um, I did really like those belts, but the more and more that I looked at it while I was Googling, the size of it bugs me. It's so small. And I told you my memory right now of the black one, I think it was either Bret Hart or Macho Man doing an interview with it, and it was so flimsy and so just toy looking that that's the memory I have of that It was belt. probably Bret because by the time he got it, it had been what, almost 10 years old at that point? Yeah, even like the edges of it, because if, if you looked at the belt, uh, the, the, the main faceplate, they had like three little extensions and another piece, mm -hmm, right. where that part wasn't even connected anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. leather was completely off of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that one, it, I still like the white and blue one. Don't get me wrong, it's still in my top 10, but it's number nine. I can't, I can't, I can't agree with you how low, how that, low it that, is. that's <laughs> ranked. The, the winged e We'll get into that. <laughs> well, it's can, on my you list. Give your, it's, it, your but positives I to it. cannot abide by the Winged Eagle belt being that low on anybody's my, favorite belt list. My favorite, it's so classic. It is. It is. Don't get me wrong. It it's is. It's so fucking classic. It is. And the reason I love it so much was was when the Warrior had it. As a, as a Warrior fan when I was a kid, it, I loved it when he had it the most. And he had a blue version and a white version. And I loved those two the but most. But the plate design... I like the plate design. The plate design. You know what? If they would classic. redesign it and make it as big as today's you belts could are, put your I would, thumbs I would on the be hooks fantastic. and kind of just be the cocky. Right, Should I go to number eight then? Go for it. Number eight is gonna shock the hell out of you. You're, I told you earlier today your meter's fucking broken, but alright. So this right. one is not on your list. There's not a chance in the world. All right. You're actually gonna get mad that I have this on the list all because right. you posted about it when it debuted. The butterfly belt. No. <laughs> I should do that. It's uh, the butterfly belt. Ruined it. No, the WWECW? No. <laughs> it is 
the Universal Championship. Why? I like the fact that it's red. I think it looks cool as fuck. I like the Universal Championship. No. I really, really do. No. No, I can't. No, the Universal Championship should not be on anybody's best list <laughs> right now. I think it's a great looking belt. Are you? No. I think it's great. I think, no. I think. Look at my look at first my off, the so red, far. First off, the red needs to be deeper. The red is way too bright. I like that it's bright. The red is way too look bright. Look at my number nine. I like a white and blue championship. But I don't half, like the but red. When I first debuted, half of it, half the time, it looked fucking orange. You know? Halfway looked like the FTW belt. No, no, no. It's always looked Jesus red. Jesus. Number eight Universal Championship. Now held by Kevin Owens, unless that changes by the time this gets posted. His, 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 his number eight should not be on anybody's top ten. Like it's, <laughs> it's not a terrible looking. It's not an awful. It's not the worst looking belt. Let's put it that way. But it certainly is not one of the best. One of the sticking best, on that one is they're gonna. I saw a prototype of an all blue, like SmackDown title, I and that looked awesome were too. Probably thinking about doing that. But, Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Number eight. Number eight. Speaking of all blue belts, mm -hmm. uh, is. The Attitude Era world belt that Austin got just after WrestleMania 14. So the WWF Championship. The WWF Championship. Attitude Era. Attitude first Era. Incarnation. The night after the, uh, the WrestleMania stiff 14. The one that wouldn't move. Well, it's because it was brand new. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't. It and was, he didn't wear it, so it's not like it wore it in. Right. It was brand new the night after WrestleMania uh, 14. I liked the way the leather looked uh, blue. You hated it. I've been recently watching some I didn't old like Rawls. that one. And here's the reason I think I don't like that one. A, the leather itself um, was like reflective in a way. It was too shiny for it was, me. It was absolute brand new leather. So I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. I like flat uh, leather on belts. But also, I didn't like the traditional WWF logo on it. I like the one with the... You don't have the scratch logo. It didn't. Google it. It has the WWF logo on it. And that's another reason I don't like it. Because I, I like my WWF championship with the with the scratch logo. <laughs> Don't put that old WWF logo on it. And it's like not even painted in. I also didn't feel like it was as shiny as later on. Um, mm -hmm. That has a big factor for some reason with me. Okay. Which is why the Undisputed title is so low. Is because it doesn't have enough shine to it. It has diamonds and stuff on it. But it's not a gold plated uh, centerpiece. Mm -hmm. So, good choice. Mm -hmm. And I'll accept where it is. Because it's got the wrong logo on it. <laughs> See, I didn't even really notice the logo, but I liked everything else about it. I liked that it was bigger. Uh -huh. uh, I liked it. I liked that it was brand new. Helping to signify the start of the Attitude Era, although there's still some technical debate on when the Attitude Era started. Sure. But um, I, I appreciate where it was. I appreciate the way Austin wore it. I appreciate the way it looked mm -hmm. uh, for the time that he had it. By the way, for some reason with me, the one with the black strap, not on my list. <laughs> Interesting. I love the I love the blue strap. The <laughs> one with the black strap, not on my list. My seven is the classic World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championships. The ones won war by Money Incorporated, mm -hmm. LOD, those classic W because they looked significantly different than the IC and heavyweight belts yeah. um, but they still look really good if you look at pictures uh, with you know the tag team championship pictures now, they look really good in pictures they, they still look good on TV they I look really only good. know this because of the last video game there's mm -hmm. two incarnations of that belt one has more silver in it the other oh. one is all gold which one are you talking about I'm talking about the all gold ones I'm with you I love this belt um, not on my list, but as much as I wanted to put um, a tag team title on there, all my single titles outweighed my tag team titles. And so... I can understand um, that. And we talked about it when I was at your house the other day. My favorite tag team belt is probably the SmackDown title because it was as close to this as we got, mm -hmm. but like an updated version. Mm -hmm. And I liked like the blue accents throughout. That's why I like this because they have some color paint on it. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently I like uh, color on belts. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, great choice. Um, I completely agree with you. Yeah. It, it, it should be on a top 10. It didn't make it onto mine, but you know, it would be right up there. It was really, it's a really good looking belt. Good belt, good size. Good size. Um, they weren't too skinny or anything like that. Um, they look, it looks good next to the, next almost to itself. everyone that wore it 
looked good in it. Yeah. I mean, I just saw <laughs> Brutus and Greg the Hammer Valentine were tag champs they once. They sure were. But even they looked good with it. It was a like long a, time. It was ago. a sit down sure interview were. on like one of the like uh, talk shows that they had, mm -hmm. and it looked good on them too. It's a good looking belt. It's yeah. a very good, especially if it's shiny, especially yeah. if it's if it's polished before it goes out. Yeah, My seven. seven don't think you're gonna have this. I'm waiting for us to have something the same. Mm -hmm. I want us to have something in the same slot in the too. Same slot. I don't think so. We're we're completely different on these. Uh, the WCW United States Championship. No. It's, no, Ghost Rider. no it's how Ghost Rider. you feel about the tag champs. Classic. Um, good shape. It had a unique shape to it too. That one's all right. That one's fine. I really like this one. I looked at the NWA one, and it's just so old. I told you at your house, I really liked it. It was a cutout of the United States of America. Right. Really unique uh, on a red strap. I thought about that, too, and then I looked at the pictures, and I'm like, ah, uh, maybe not. It did. I mean, did even exactly that one compared to, like, the first version that has the United States on there, I like the more modern version. It is one of um, the better-looking belts. Now that I look in at w it, I didn't realize WCW. it's the exact same cutout as the Intercontinental Championship, almost, except for the top. Mm -hmm. It has WCW on it. Right. But it has these little ribbons kind of mm -hmm. I didn't realize that till right now but I just love this belt um I put it on like on the game I'm gonna reference the game a lot because they have all the belts I put it on like Dean Ambrose and it looked amazing his leather jacket was over it and I was just like that's such a good belt I have I have good memories of it though I have Sting with it um Ricky Steamboat a lot of guys that I liked having that belt and mm -hmm. so it, it's good memories, but I enjoy the title. Uh, sorry, the, the design of it too. I really enjoy the design of the U.S. title. It's uh, one of WCW's better looking belts, uh, in my opinion. WCW didn't have a lot of great looking belts, but I think the U.S. title was one of its better looking belts. What's your number six? My number six, um, we're going to continue on the tradition, is the U.S. title, John Cena version, the Spinner U.S. title. All right. It was the first Spinner that we saw. Um, very colorful, obviously, my mm -hmm. thing. Um, I saw it in person at RVD's comic book shop, mm -hmm. and that solidified it for me. I was like, that belt's awesome. Um, it was silver instead of gold. Um, the fact that it spun wasn't what sold it on me. I, I, it could stay still and it was okay. The thing I dislike about it, it has John Cena's signature on it. And even on the belt, like in, in, um, in WWE. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. But I thought it was very unique. Um, it looked almost boxer style, like a boxing belt. Because mm -hmm. it had, um, like the, the centerpiece. It was more circular than breast and belt yeah. And then it came out here and the stitching came around. And then there was the straps that would snap together. Mm -hmm. I really like that belt. My number six is the US spinner title. I always loved it. I like that belt. Uh, I feel like that belt worked specifically for John Cena, though. Sure. It's not a belt that you could put on anybody. Agreed. It's John Cena or nobody, all right. in my opinion. So it that, worked for him at the time. It did. It yeah, definitely that's when we worked all for him at the liked time. John that's Cena. Very, I, I, <laughs> I admit, I went to WrestleMania 21 with a fucking chain around my neck oh, shit. that I bought from Home Depot that day. I, you know, it, that was that was when you know he did 10 minute matches and looked good. Mm -hmm. And wrapped. My number six is the Intercontinental Championship belt from the Attitude Era. Okay. All right. I that is contrary to the U.S. title with John Cena. The Attitude Era Intercontinental belt looked good on a whole lot of people. It looked great on the Rock Scratch logo. Yes, it looked great on the Rock. It looked great on Ken Shamrock. It looked great on Billy Gunn. It looked good on Road Dog. Even As a matter of fact, that. Um, rolled over through the Ruthless Aggression era. The IC Championship belt from the Attitude Era rolled over for a while. I agree. This belt it is great on fucking amazing, and I wish it was on my list, honestly. Um, as I was just going down when I got to 10 already, mm -hmm. and I had two honorable mentions, I was like, fuck, I don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> it it's such a good belt. It's um, a great belt. For it's even great on it. RVD, oh, they look perfect on RVD. Even Hunter going backwards to it, still sold it. Yeah, and yeah. when they shine that puppy up, it yeah, shined. And the, and the blue popped, and it has blue all over the blue it. blue really popped, yeah. They, they had a purple strap for this one. I that think was, that was the old WWF logo one. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. I like that one. I didn't like the purple strap. Um, I didn't understand why for a long time, because I was watching w, uh, sorry, WCW at the time, mm -hmm. why my toy had a purple strap. And I was like, what the fuck is it? Why <laughs> Make it black. And I saw it, and I was like, uh, I don't like that. Now, see, the problem with the purple strap is that, depending on the lighting in the arena, you couldn't always tell it was purple. Because mm -hmm. it was kind of 
Deep Purple. I knew this would be on your list. Um, amazing belt. It's a great I belt. love that. It's a fantastic belt. belt. Um, and, it, and it looked good on so many people over so it many It really years. did. I, I'm, I'm going to lie. My, one of my favorite feuds to the WD, uh, IC title, and you hate it, is China and Jerry. Um, I hate that. Actually, sorry. Hate that China rivalry. and Jericho. My bad. China I and Jericho. Oh, I hate that rivalry even worse. <laughs> Moving on.